But we keep remaking these things, coming back to things and rebooting things and changing things and making them come again, bring it to a new era. And now it's time, everybody, for us to go to our new reboot remake of the show of the day in our section called Reboot of the Day. everybody it's time for the reboot of the day and it's not something i want to talk about really but i'm going to talk about it quickly and that's van helsing's being rebooted and it's coming as a tv show though which i first i'm like this would be a good idea but as a tv show as a procedural tv show for cbs that has nothing to do with vampires except a very intelligent man named van helsing with a partner who will uh really? try to save new york city <laughs> that's fucking awesome Lord. <laughs> I, I I was like, what are we doing, guys? What are we doing? But they're they're going into it, and it's the same executive proper or the same showrunner, I should say, executive producer, showrunner that did Sherlock, the whole like spin-off of Sherlock Holmes over on CBS or Elementary. It's called Elementary, doing elementary. So same person like that. And it sounds like they're trying to follow that same guidelines. Uh, but it's it's they're coming, they're, they're, they're pushing right now. They had a big bang war for it, and CBS ended up winning it. But this series, a contemporary take on the monster hunter, Dr. Abraham Van Helsing, who uses his uniquely in uh, in inquisitive mind, working alongside his ex, relentless FBI federal agent Mina Harker, to solve New York's most harrowing cases. Mina Harker. Oh, terrible. So, Van, Van Helsing. A reboot of the day is moving forward as a series over there at CBS. Sean, I, I can tell you're very excited about this. Do you think this is like just Super change everybody? No. no, it sounds exactly like Elementary. It sounds except <laughs> it does, now you gotta, instead of instead of being like a detective guy, he's a fucking monster hunter. Uh, <laughs> what are we doing here? Um, the, I can't get past the fact that they changed they changed their name to Mina Harkins, Harkness or Harkins. <laughs> Harkness, Harker, yeah. Harker, that yeah. up, dude. <laughs> Mina Harkness, that's it's like in the lexicon. You don't fuck that name up. And the, oh, of course, not only not only are their partners, they used to they used to bang guys too. They used so to bang. There's a little sexual tension. They're very appropriate they for love, hump day. They love throwing that in a CBS show. That's a big component of CBS shows. There's always got to be that tension. Um, but no, this sounds like a, this sounds <laughs> Who's like this for? elementary, but with Frankenstein's and and gargoyles and ghouls. So they don't even uh, say you know. they they don't even say they're gonna do that though, Sean. It's like this is like they freaking uh, better. They fucking it's, better. It's, Ever uh, since Grim went off air, right? I don't think it's gonna be Grim. Where's, where's my Grim heads? I, I love Grim. I watch a lot. Of, I watch most yeah. of Grim. I watch most of Grim. I didn't finish Grim, but I watch most of Grim. But I don't I, think it's gonna be Grim. No, but like this this whole thing is like I just feel like AI is punking us on this one. It <laughs> this is gonna be for like, like your daddy. Elementary. It's Your like, daddy's daddy. What's next? We're gonna do. I'm trying to think of like another fucking book character. I can't even think of a book character now. We're, we're gonna do. Where's Waldo? Is gonna be a detective next on CBS? In the Puniverse. In the Puniverse. Yes. Is Kane? <laughs> Where's Waldo? Wolf. Wolf Waldo will be there. Wanda. The wizard played by Sir Ian McKellen. Can't wait for that shit. <laughs> Yeah, put that. put Where's Waldo in a CBS spinoff? Let's do this. God, would, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn, I, I could it, not uh, watch. That. I would have to watch. That. I just but don't know. I, Tre Trevor, what do you think, it. man? Wasn't Trevor, there already you, a Van Helsing TV series within like the last five or ten years that had like a lady Van Helsing? I think it was on Sci Fi Channel. I think right or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. I, I yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. There was. Yeah. Yeah. I think if she's African American too, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. Yeah. I never actually watched it. I just remember hearing about it. Is this something that you would watch, or does it sound like this is for like our our, our grandparents to maybe turn on for background noise? Yeah, yeah this is not something that I would watch. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know who this is for. I, I, it's a CBS, so it's like they always have the procedural stuff, right? But yeah. it just seems like there's ripping off, like Sean said, Elementary, doesn't it? It just seems like it's the same freaking show. It sounds like yeah. fucking Elementary. <laughs> and like Sorry. it's a great character do you did you like the van helsing like movie at all with, like a uh, uh, hugh jackman or do you like the, the lore of van helsing at all i, I mean i the i haven't seen the hugh jackman movie in like probably 20 years uh i was uh i really like the uh the anime helsing i don't think we're ever gonna see a live action version of that there's not enough fake blood in all of hollywood to make that come out <laughs> 
Never, right? Maybe Never. one day. Maybe one day. Maybe. Oh, I just, you know, for the reboots, sometimes it just drives me nuts. Like, sometimes they're great. We talked about, like, the other day, Enemy of Mine. That could be good. Um, but... Lexi, this one, what do you think? Van Helsing as a CBS procedural, which there's no there's no notice or any kind of like, verbiage about any kind of creatures, like fairy tale creatures you might be taking out, or vampires. We're just going to be a uniquely intelligent person in uh, New York City, probably uh, with a detective and a cop background. Is this a good thing? Well, judging by the response from the panel, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't... I don't like, you know, bland CBS, you know, procedural dramas. Um, I tend not to watch that stuff. Uh, but I hated the Van Helsing movie. I thought it was incredibly idiotic. And I have always been a fan of Van Helsing as a character. I really liked the idea of him sort of being grounded in reality, that he is a sort of a real person that he is the most foremost expert on understanding supernatural stuff and not just like a ghost hunter type. Like he's always been, you know, an understander of like, you know, vampires and demonology and, you know, incredibly complex, you know, occult shit. So a fascinating character and if you really wanted to bring in stuff like moriarty and you wanted to bring in like you know even you know crazy or uh you know um what's it rasputin or things like that like there's all kinds of ways you can tie that kind of stuff together in a modern day setting and do things you know in an interesting kind of way so i'm not mad at any of these ideas and i really think that Van Helsing is best suited to not being an action adventure. Like he's not an action adventure character. I know that he gets into some shit, but you know, so does the priest from exorcist. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> when you deal with this stuff, you get some throwdown, but it's never this, like the kind of throwdown that an action hero gets into. It's the kind of throwdown where you're throwing down with the forces of evil and you tend to be using, you know, your kind of spells and, protection stuff uh, i mean if you really want like an action yeah, that's nice you know, magic guy you go to your your hellblazer hellblazer is more suited to this kind of thing mm. like that and that's Ooh, what I, I would rather see is a hellblazer the series shit out of a hellblazer show that'd be great yeah that'd be fucking I've dope said, i've said for years a you properly done Keanu. Hellblazer. Keanu would give another shot at it i mean all right i I just like, I like Hellblazer a lot. I think Constantine's a great character. I'm a big fan of him. So I think that would be a better suited, fun, action-y kind of Keanu series. Reeves. But I think like Helsing is very well suited to this concept. I think everything is in place. So, but I think what you guys are saying is that the network that's handling it is going to handle it in this kind of way that isn't going to make it a that CBS fashion. Work. Oh, it's formulaic. It's, they already know yeah, what, it's what the, they do. Yeah, first season arc is at this point. Like they announced right. this kind of shit. They already they've done this so many times already. Uh, yeah, this is like like let's get let's give Paul Atreides from Dune. We're bringing it back to Dune. Let's give him a CBS show and his ex, uh, played by Sean Young. Sean Young comes back out of ex. retirement. It'd be great. It'd be great. Let's do that. <laughs> Bring in the X's. Bring in the X's. <laughs> I, I just you know it's it, it could be good. Maybe we'll maybe we'll figure it out. But I mean I'm the fact that you have the same showrunner here. Well, what was he saying? I have to watch an episode over. Yeah, you're yeah, right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, give it a yeah, shot. Give it one. Everything, everything deserves a fair shot. That's fair. It's like Sometimes. Grim didn't seem that good, but Grim was actually a lot of fun. A lot of times, you know, it was a lot of fun. Grim and was it went a on for like five seasons. Phenomenon. It was a cultural phenomenon for its time. It's gone away. No one's thought about it again. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's be honest. Nope. I think this is going to do one season, though. Maybe it'll be great. Maybe it won't. Uh, but I just don't see it. If it's going to be just like elementary, that's like, what's the point? That's what I say. What's the point? And again, you could, if you dive into what actually Van Helsing would do as a profession, you're getting after these folklore, woodland, freaking fairy tale creatures and vampire shit. That could be cool. But we need, we need, we need some fucking sex. We've talked about this multiple times. We need sex and vampires. And lots of orgies, and this will be a great show, but it won't have it on CBS. These things will go to max. Uh -huh.